Hello. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. I cannot believe it's Friday again. I swear I was just singing the Friday song like a day ago. You know that one. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Partying, partying. Woo. If you don't know that, Google Friday, Rebecca Black. It's an anthem in our house. Used to get the kids out of bed every Friday morning with that song. I think they thought it was cool. I'm sure they thought we were cool singing it to them. I'm sure they never rolled their eyes or groaned or asked us to stop. Uh, at any rate, it's Friday. We're celebrating Friday. Because why not? We have to have something to celebrate in this day and age, right? Just choose something random like Friday. Hi, Christy. Hi, Erica. So great to see you gals. Um, I just feel like I have so much I need to tell you guys about today. My brain's going to explode. I can't keep track of anything. COVID brain's for real, man. I'm I'm just, I'm scatterbrained. I make lists. I write a lot down, but it doesn't help because every little thing is like a little fire that needs to be extinguished. And I just, by the time I've done all the little fires, then I don't remember where I'm at on my list or even where I set the list. And it's just, I just feel like I need some focus. It's really hard. Hi, Paula. Oh, hi, Paula. I miss you, Paula. Hi, Sarah. Beth. Audrey, I loved your new sweater, Audrey. Oh my God, that hot pink is gorgeous. Sheila, Sherry, Martha, hello. Um, so anyways, um, welcome. And I let's see, the first thing I'm going to talk about is what's in my lap, which is the knitting project I haven't been able to show you, but now I can show you. Any guesses on what that is? Okay, one second. Knit, 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 knit. You're right. It's my four day knit along. It's soundtrack. That's the official name. So exciting. Let me tuck my little um, waste yarn inside here to hide it. All right. Here's my soundtrack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I tried it on about an inch below the armholes. Fits perfect. It's going to block beautifully. And um, I am like an inch away from finishing the ribbing. And then it's Sleeveville and Dunzo. So um, yeah, here she is in all her glory. So this is um, this is Woolstock. And you know, I realized after we did our Zoom meetup with Marie, where I was talking all about the Woolstock and what I was using, I kept saying I was using Gray Harbor. I'm not. I'm using Storm Cloud. So it's one level darker than Gray Harbor. Now I forgot. Storm Cloud's my main color. Loon Lake is my contrast color. So um, I oh, I can't wait to have this one done, although it's going to be like 90 degrees today. So clearly today wouldn't be the day to have it done. But um, I, uh, I am actually making the 44 and shooting for a 42. And I have a gauge of five and a half stitches to the inch. So the recommended gauge is five and um, a quarter stitches to the inch. So I'm just a smidge tighter and I did the math and it looked like that would give me really close to a 42 finished bust. And um, when I tried it on, I was golden. So um, I just, my bow house is a 42 finished bust and I just love how that fits right at my, my chest area. So anyways, that's what's going on here with um, soundtrack. Isn't that fun? We're gonna create a whole playlist for the shops, knit along. Um, to go along with the theme and yeah, I think it's going to be great. This is blue sky fibers wool stock. And so, um, yeah, yes. Anyways, that was the first big announcement because yesterday we got the okay from Miss Marie to put that out there. So that's really fun. Um, so the second thing I want to tell you guys about is something really cool that we have just um, been invited to take part in and that and some of you might have heard about this already because there's some shops already doing it. It's called the Fiberside Chats and Longmont Shop in Colorado Oregon started this whole thing and they've invited shops to participate which is so generous. So basically what they're doing is they are contracting um, big name designers, uh, industry people, uh, dyers, etc. And then they are um, have hosting them in a Zoom webinar that we can sell tickets to our customers. And then we pay the designers part of that ticket fee. Longmont gets a small little amount for their administrative overhead because they're organizing this whole thing. And then we get a little bit. And so uh, most of it goes to the designer. And so um, it's really cool. And I'm just, I feel very humbled that they invited us to get to take part in this. So the very first one that's coming up is Casa Pinca next Friday. And so, or Thursday, next Thursday, next Friday. 
you think I just lose my brain every time I hit go live. Anyway, it's time to be right when her next shawl pattern releases. We talked just briefly about this because I mentioned that we have some kits already on the website from Alexandra's Art of Yarn for her next, for Casa Pinka's upcoming release. And um, now we have a whole bunch of other new combos I just have put together, but I haven't listed them yet, but I'm going to show them to you guys. So if you remember back in april she did breathe and hope and that was for local yarn shop day and if you bought your breathe and hope yarn from a shop you got the download code to get that pattern for free and she's doing something similar again including yarn shops and indie dyers and this this um, pattern is called the hug shot and it's beautiful and this is in honor of national hug your pet weekend which was created by her cat whom she fondly refers to as Sharon from security. And by fondly, I mean not fondly at all. Sharon's all business. Um, Bronwyn, who is Casa Pinka, is hilarious. She's so much fun, so funny. And um, I'm sure listening to her talk uh, for an hour is gonna be a really, really great time. So if you're interested in signing up for that, you can head to our website. Um, it's under classes and events. We also have a, a link from the homepage, a banner there. It's called Fiberside Chats. And Bronwyn uh, Casapinka is next week. And then June 10th is Ann Bud. So Ann's going to talk about designing and she's going to talk about socks and some of the stuff she's been doing during the, um, the lockdown. And so it is, uh, it's really going to be good. I'm actually really intrigued for this Ann Bud one because I've never actually heard Ann talk and um, I've long respected her and, and she has done just an amazing amount of work in our whole industry. So two really good opportunities to sign up it's twenty dollars you'll get a zoom link 24 hours before or if you're a late sign up you'll get one about an hour before so i think you can sign up up to eight hours before they happen and they they happen at different times um so the first one i believe is going to be at 1 p.m pacific and then the talk that's the casa pinka talk and then the um and bud one is at 4 p.m. Pacific, I believe. So you can sign up on our website, Christy. Um, so right on our homepage there, if you scroll down past the initial photo, there's a banner that says Fiberside Chats, uh, or you can just click the tab. Now. Sorry, there's people walking around out there. I have the door wide open behind me, the, this, the garage door. Um, if you click classes and events, there's a drop down at the top and it says Fiberside Chats. So just go there. You can register uh, for either or both talks, and um, and it's also a way to support these designers and indie dyers, other industry people, who are just as affected as we are as yarn shops. You know, if we can't order their product because we're not open, then they're also hurting. So, um, anyways, it's going to be really fun. It's a uh, it's a it's a good time, and they'll be adding more people um, as we go. So they've already done a few. I missed out on um, the designer behind the jewel. Um, shawl accessories and then uh who just went oh bristol ivy just had one too and i missed that um there's they're twenty dollars to sign up yeah so all the details are on our website um you can check that out fiberside chats um at our website not another hat so on the subject of the casa pinka shawl the upcoming shawl so she has designed this for two skeins of fingering weight yarn and um, she says it's going to work best if you have a semi-solid and then something very highly variegated or speckled and so right before this i just um, i meant to do this all morning but i had some other things going on jill came in she trained on the new point of sale we did some other stuff so of course where's the time go god only knows um so anyways i pulled together a bunch of combos i'm going to list on the website that would be great for the hug shot uh sweater so i'm going to show you those right now um Oh, I'll grab the furthest one away first since I have to reach for it. Okay, so here we have Tosh Mo Light that we just got in um, in the colorway Electric Rainbow. Isn't that fun? It's got um, kind of blue, greens, purples. It's a little bit like a, like the oil slick kind of colors with little black speckles. And I'm, my light is really bright here. Maybe I could back that up. There we go. And then with Monosfino in... Um, Peacock Plume. Those two look really good together. So um, that's one combo. Where should I? Here, I'll set these here. Um, and here's another great one. This is um, Tosh Merino Light uh, in Caretaker. This color is so cool with Mono Spino in um, Garnet Brooch. I love this one. This one really speaks to me. 
la 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 la. This is fun. This is Machita from Malabrigo, which is um, all over kind of in a blue green speckle. And this is Admiral from Monosfino. Oh, that. That's really nice too. I've been lately discovering my blue side. Blue has typically never really like, you know, jumped out at me and I seem to be gravitating towards more blues lately. And this is fiery and fun. This is um, Toshmo Light in Shy Girl and uh, Fino in Topsy Turvy. So Shy Girl has a little bit of yellow flecks like throughout it um, that I think would be really fun to pick up with this Topsy Turvy. This is like a really wild, fun combo. And then the last one I pulled real quick is um, Tosh Merino Light in Dried But Not Forgotten. This is color I just, I can't get enough of. It's this dusty dark green with little tiny bits of blue. And then it's kind of a violet blue. And then it's with amethyst earring um, in the Fino. So all of these would make really great combos for the hug shot. So um, we're gonna put those on the website. And if you buy any um, of those, or if you just buy two skeins of fingering, like you put together your own combo and mention in your order notes that this is for the Casa Pinka shawl or for hug shot, then we'll make sure you're on our list to get the free download code when she releases those next Friday. And we will send it to you. You'll get the pattern for free. So pretty cool. Um, Oh, maybe that's why Erica says she's searching for blues and calmness herself. Maybe that's why I'm feeling that gravitation towards blues when I never have before is just that that desire for something like calming and soothing and mellow. So, yeah, that last one. You liked that, Julia, huh? That speaks to you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's green and purple, right? Um, hug shot. Do I have a picture of hug shot? You know, this is really tacky to show pictures on my phone, but yeah. We're just going to do it that way because I don't have the ability to send, to share a screen with you guys. <laughs> Let's see if it even works, though. Here's Hug Shot. Try to get the glare off. Mm. So that's really kind of whiting it out. I'm sorry about that. But if you, you can find it, she's got it listed up now. Um, or you can go to Casa Pinka's uh, um, Instagram. She's got some pictures there. It's beautiful. It's got a little bit of stripe, um, a little bit of slip stitch in just the tiniest little motif of feather and fan here before the um, the border. So it's lovely, really nice. She's just so generous. She's hilarious and she's generous. It's just like my two favorite things, right? So um, yeah. So uh, that is not the only shawl I have to talk about either. Uh, are they wool? Carmen, yes, these are all wool blends of some sort, wool mohair, wool silk, um, things like that, yeah. The, um, we have the fingering we have that is not wool is a heavy fingering slash light sport weight. It's only 305 yards per skein, but um, it is very beautiful. There's two. There's one called Haiku Drape and one called Haiku Pop Cycle. And both of those are uh, non wool lightweight yarns. Uh, one of them is a rayon and one of them is a, um, um, a viscose made from recycled pop bottles. It's like an environmentally friendly yarn. And so. Um, those are options in the non-wool territory if you're looking for that, but you would need two skeins of those because they are 305 yards each, I think. Um, but they would work, they would work just fine. So, oh, and Audrey says Casa Pinka's patterns are written well. They are, I've knit several of her shawls over the years and um, that's very true, yes. Um, I'm just gonna check through these comments really quick, make sure I didn't, that orange combo, Sheila, I know, right? It's so good, it's so good. I want all the yarn. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go now and I'm going to switch gears just a smidge, but not really because it's still a shawl and it still uses Tosh, so not switching at all. Oh, that's probably tech support. They call right now after like two hours. They're going to call right now in the middle of this video. Oh, well. Um, so there's another new shawl that just came out, and that is the shawl from Melanie Berg called Together Apart. And it is beautiful. And the lovely Miss Becca is knitting up our shop sample in that. I showed you guys the colors, I think, a week or two ago. So um, you got a little sneak peek of ours. And I have a picture I can show you. I just posted the picture to our Facebook page right before this video started. Um, with my little reminder about the video that said starting in seven minutes. And so if you wanted to see our sample in progress, you can go to our Facebook page and check that out. I have it here on my phone. I'll give you a little refresher. But it's called Together Apart, and it's beautiful. It uses two skeins of Tosh Merino Light, and you could certainly use Tosh Mo Light also. 
and it uses one um, unicorn tail. And so here is Becca's in, um, in progress. It's mostly garter with just a little bit of lace. And um, so I pulled together a few combos I'm going to list on the website as well to show you because it's just so fun to match yarn and colors. Oh my gosh. So um, here we have pasta blue with deep as a unicorn tail. How can I hold this without dropping it where you can also see? There we go. So hosta blue and deep. This is so, so pretty. Um, more of those blues. This one's wild and funky. This is, um, there we go. Flash dance with neon peach. I don't know if I'm, if it's better to be closer or farther away. It's so hard. Um, not getting the neon in that peach right there, but uh, it's bright. It's really bright. And then, um, oh, I love this one. This is Daisy with Coquette hot pink. This is really washing out the Daisy. I don't know if you guys also see it washed out or not. To me, it looks insanely washed out. That looks almost like a butter, and it's not. It's a little more... Uh, Citron yellow. I don't know that. I don't know if that translated. I guess I'll have to go back and watch the video and know uh, for next time how these are coming across. Because to me, they're looking completely washed out. Um, this one is also really in my wheelhouse. This is candle wick with whiskey barrel. So good. Oh my gosh. So good. Um, and I love this color name. This is Elizabeth Taylor with Silver Fox. Is that not appropriate, right? Elizabeth Taylor and Silver Fox. I love it. I love that combo. And then last but not least, in more fun, bright, um, we have the color of the year 2020 and um, Edison bulb. And again, with this Edison bulb, this is neon. It doesn't look to me like it's showing up as neon to you guys, but no, that doesn't help. That helps a little bit actually or at least in my vision it helps so lots of fun combos there um lots more to create oh i forgot to show you another one of these combos i set it behind me these are the um unicorn tails in their basket here so uh there's uh, infinite possibilities um yes heidi whiskey barrel as your main color would be fun with candlewick as your stripe i just don't happen to have any whiskey barrel in full skates and stuff right no, we don't have any whiskey barrel. Um, we did just receive a bunch of Tosh Mo Light um, and Tosh Farm Twist. The Farm Twist made it on the site. For some reason, the Mo Light won't update. That's why I'm waiting for a call from tech support that I think I just missed. Um, I don't know what its problem is that it won't it won't push it over into the website. So um, we're going to backtrack just a quick smidge and talk about the hug shot pattern for next week again because I forgot to show you two combos I really like. And they both use the same speckledy color. So first up, Toshmo Light in Glow Love and um, Monosfino in Fascinator. This is Glow Love, and it's this beautiful pink, touch of green, touch of blue with the hot pink Fascinator. But I also think it looks really nice if you want to go subtle and elegant with Rose Water, which is just the... The, just a touch of pink, just a blush, it's like a pink blush. Um, if you wanted a really lovely, light, more subdued combination, this would be the way to go. So didn't want to leave those guys out since I put them in the basket behind me. So, all right, quick sip. Oh my goodness. Um, I know that glow love color, isn't that gorgeous, Julia? I think it's a discontinued color. All of the stuff that I got in with the Mo Light and the Farm Twist was from their, um, my lights just went off, their, um, what they call extras. So, you know, stuff that they have that might not be in full, complete lots, etc. Two skeins here, four skeins here, and then I ordered off of that because I wanted it quick. So, um, rather than like waiting for an order to be dyed. So, that's why um, I think that color might not be a regular color anymore. Okay, someone's calling again. Um, I think I'm going to let y'all go now 
and get to work trying to post these combinations and make them available. So be sure you go and check out the Fiberside Chats and stay tuned for some fun hug shot combos and together apart combos. And um, yeah, I think that's all I had to tell you guys about today. And then of course the four day knit along. We do have we have some um, more wool stock in the 150 gram skeins coming next week. And on Monday, more entropy is going to be here. So if you're one of those people waiting to see more entropy, that should happen on Monday. So, all right, you lovelies, have a great weekend and stay safe and stay healthy and keep doing the good things, fighting the good fight, keep all of your friends and loved ones healthy. And we will do the same here. And um, I'll see you guys on Monday. All right.